What's up guys, it's your boy Gang. Welcome back to my Let's Play game series on Farming Simulator on the um, the Stone Valley map. This is episode 13 and um, basically in this episode what we're going to be doing is if our crops are not ready, we're going to be taking a few more contracts. I want to go ahead and expand on the, um, the livestock farm down here. So basically I want to either add the full capacity of cows on here or i'm gonna go ahead and add another um why is productivity zero that's that that doesn't make any sense yeah or i'm gonna go ahead and add another wait that does that really doesn't make any sense yeah so basically what i'm going to be doing is working on adding more cost there um doing some contracts trying to build up back the money as well as maybe expand into another um another cow pasture cow building it depends but um yeah so we have some milk some slurry and some manure there um i'm gonna let that see. oh there we go now it shows yeah productivity is still 100 good um yeah so basically i'm not sure how many more cows can hold in here let's see uh where do you open open no i don't want to open that i want to open the stupid oh my god it's not working all right let me get in here then can you move move no. This is ridiculous, bro. What the f Oh, boy. All right. Let's get out of here. I can't jump. I cannot jump. Oh, my God. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Stupid. Alright, so what I was trying to say is I want to see if we can purchase some more cows. What is going on? I'm not getting any... Oh my god. No triggers. I'm not getting any triggers anywhere. Alright, let me exit out of the game really quickly and I'll bring you... Alright guys, we're back. It looked like we fixed the issue. Um, I can jump. I can open the animal dialogue. So in here we have 8 and I think this pen holds 12 tops. So I'm not sure if I should go ahead and add more. What I'm thinking is... Um, let's leave that be for now. Um, I'm going to need a... A slurry um a slurry tanker and a milk tanker um i'm not sure what to use to pick the manure up but i'm gonna need those two things um if we take a look here cheapest slurry tank is twenty three thousand, which it's not bad but that's still you know fairly expensive and then if I take a look at the cheapest, not the cheapest milk tank, but the one that works for me, it's going to be 68,000. So we're looking at 100,000 basically there about for two things that I'm not sure we entirely need. So I'm going to go ahead and wait on that for a minute. Um, what I will go ahead and do is I'm going to purchase, I'm going to leave this as is so we can have the cows themselves I guess breed up and have more cows themselves instead of um, purchasing the four additional I'm gonna allow them to reproduce and give us an animal it says reproduction rate is 15 hours next animal in 15 hours 11 all right so we'll let that keep going as is so let's take a look at what's left for contracts i feel that one as you guys know in the last episode um 
That's a harvest in one. That's field 28. Where's field 28? You know what? No. Let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to place a different and a different cow pen. Cow pasture. I'm gonna put this one down instead. But I want it fairly close to that, which I cannot get it to be. Um, rotate it. Let's see. Right there should be fine. Object could not be purchased. Please try again. Okay. That's fine. So, let's go over here. I know now what I'm going to have to do is create more TMR and all of that stuff, but I'm not going to keep you guys in for that since you have already seen how we do it. Where is this trigger now? Right here. All right, how, I'm not sure how many cows this pen can hold. So let me go ahead and take a look really quickly. Small cow pasture holds 50. Let's buy 25 if we can afford it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. All right, let's do 16. Confirm that, have them delivered, which they already have been. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get these guys up to where they need to be in terms of food, hay, and all of that stuff. And then I'll do a quick time lapse after that and then bring you guys back in. guys we finally finished doing the mixed draft of TMR it was a process in itself I need to figure out a way to um, make that process a little bit quicker because um, right now the way I'm doing it with the single um, the single bail spike and stuff like that is taking too long so I'm probably gonna need to in the near future so invest in a better um bail something to pick the bales up so um let me go ahead and load this i know it's not going to be nowhere near enough of the total rations that they need but it should be enough to get their productivity up to at least maybe 80 percent i'm hoping um if not i'm gonna have to wrap some more bales and all that stuff which i probably won't end up well yeah i probably end up having to do it right now anyways um Wow, okay. Alright, so let me go ahead and um, knock this out of the way, I guess. Um, Ricky buys grip. Let me go ahead and knock this out of the way and bring you guys back again quickly. Um, I'm kind of tongue tied right now because it's a little bit, I'm not gonna say frustrating, but tiring, I guess. So I think eventually, once I make some money off the next crop, 
or off of the next um or off of the next the next um like contract or whatever I'm going to have to spend some money in the bailing aspect of it invest in a better bailing fork or something else to pick the bills up and also invest in I guess weights for the tractor which I think I might have one at the main farm I have to look I'm not too certain I think I do but right now I can't go back because this baby tractor is like having the hardest time it's bobbing all over the place bouncing throwing bills everywhere so um, yeah, so I'm thinking that's what I'm going to end up having to do is um, invest in some better equipment to pick the bales up. Wrong way, Wrong way buddy. Alright, that works. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> and that way we'll, um, we'll, whoa. Okay what the hell is going on with this tractor bro oh my god that was the weirdest thing i've ever seen it literally was doing gymnastics okay um yeah i don't have any more hay bales that is crazy straw right, let's pick this one up out of the way Back, because I need to get to those green looking ones because I think those might be what I'm looking for let's see hoping that's what it is because if not I'm going to be really mad not mad but just more oh here we go oh, no, no, what, 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 hmm. alright so we do have a few more hay bales here what am I doing Finally, bro. Alright. So let's go and load two of these bales into the wagon and then wrap those two grass bales. And then um, that should be enough TMR to get them into at least orange, I'm hoping. So let's put that one in there. Boom. Let's get one more hay bale here. And then um, wrap those two grass bales right there, get some silage, blah, blah, blah. And then should have, I think, 16,000 more TMR, which should be enough for now to hold, hold these cows off for a little bit at least. And then that way, um, off camera, I could probably go ahead and... Um, Hmm. Oh boy. Off camera could go ahead and um get these things <laughs> sorted out way better than it is. I probably look for a mod that mixes TMR in a silo or something like that just to make it a bit easier. Cause now I'm realizing that if I have way more cows than I currently do, I'm not going to be able to um manage doing the TMR the way I'm doing it right now it's definitely not productive at all please be here yes there we go up 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 that should be it <clears throat> alright guys this, sh this should be enough now to get them into at least um at least 80% productivity I'm hoping um, and then this way both places can be producing good milk and stuff like that um, what I'll probably do is wait till they have a good capacity of milk and then um, go ahead and get a truck a tanker and um, 
unload both i'm hoping that that it doesn't take that long for them i also noticed that this pen specifically has um cleanliness so i'm going to have to watch that as well make sure the cleanliness is good clean it when it needs to be cleaned and all of that stuff um well the effectiveness is at 100 right now but i need the tmr to be in at least yellow and then i'll be satisfied with that at least halfway um which it should be right about now hopefully 27 i'm supposed to go 32 okay 31 all right so <coughs> enough with that that's enough for them now they're at 100 percent productivity they're already producing manure and and um slurry um the next ones have a pretty good amount of both so i think the next step is good for these guys is going to be um picking up the the getting a, ta a tank for the slurry um a tank for the milk and sell those and transport those I'm thinking in the meantime, we need to go and take a look for like maybe a quick contract, get that over with. So let me take a look at what's there and I'll bring you guys right back and um, when I find something. <coughs> Alright, so there's one contract on field 28, which is... 28 29 that's far um where do you need that to go south cell point no i'm not taking that contract da, 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 dee. there's another harvesting that's for corn field 13 which is up top and they want me to take that to south cell point no Harvesting barley field 18, south cell point. Where's field 18? Field 18, 18, 19. That's also up top. No, I'm not too interested in taking any of those two. Let's take a look at how far our fields are from being har ready to be harvested. I think they're a long ways off. Let's see. Yeah, they're a long, long way off. Oh, boy. Um, let me take a look at some stuff here really quickly. And then let me bring you guys right back. Wait, actually, I can harvest this. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. <coughs> all right guys so what we're gonna do is we're gonna be harvesting the wheat off of this field right here i may end up purchasing a small silo depending on the cost which i cannot afford so i will not be purchasing any silo let's see yeah no can't purchase any so i'm gonna harvest it off of this field and then i'm gonna um store it and that is going to be for for the um for the cows and i'm going to go ahead and more than likely take up the bales because we need, actually no we have enough straw bales for now so i don't think i'll be taking up any of the bales um, so i won't be doing the straw out on the harvester so let me go ahead get back to the farm um, pick the pick the harvester up bring it back and also bring this back with the um with the the with the trailer if necessary which i don't think it's going to be necessary so i may end up just not doing that so let me get the harvester bring the harvester down run out run a couple of um, runs up and down the field see how much we get and if we need to then we will go ahead and bring it back down if not then we won't and i think what we may end up doing is doing that really quickly and then running maybe a plow on it and then going ahead and doing a um another seeding of it so we'll go pick the the harvest up really quickly and um meet you guys back down at the farm
So basically I realized now that we don't need the wheat for anything else but the, the straw so me storing the wheat doesn't make any sense um, but I st I'm still gonna do it even though it doesn't make any sense and when I have enough I'll sell all of it at once because I believe that's what I said I was gonna do but for now I don't want straw. No, it's not any of the straw <clears throat> so basically I'm gonna go ahead and pick all of this up and then um, I'll probably replant the fields um, but I don't think I need to go back alright guys so basically um, I realize we don't need the wheat for the animals but I'm gonna store it in the silos nonetheless so we have enough we can go ahead and sell a large quantity at once and that way we can earn some money from that as well um, <clears throat> now I'm wondering if I should plant down here with something different or keep it as is for now I think most likely what I'm gonna end up having to do is do more silage bales I guess um, so I'm gonna have to grow some more grass cut the grass and wrap them so I think what I'll do for the next episode is um, go ahead and work on our building technology and making that more efficient and making it work for us better where we can make better uh, make TMR quicker as well as collect the bills quicker and do the, um, the silage wrapping quicker and all of that stuff because I, like I said as it stands right now it is ridiculously slow so that's what's gonna happen in the next episode and um earlier i well yesterday when this video comes out it will be yesterday where i released that update that i'll be doing another let's play simultaneously with this one <coughs> that one will be on i think it's called ichia or ikia farm but it will be i'll twist it a bit to make it seem as if it is from Jamaica which is where I'm from and um, work on it that way um, and see what we can get done so as far as it goes for this series our goal is still set to purchase the the bigger um, livestock farm a dairy farm I should say that's something that's still in the making so like I said earlier I don't want to keep on saying I'm not spending any more money because as you can see we constantly spend money but what I'm going to do now is set a serious goal to achieve what we need and just from now on going forward the only two pieces of equipment I should be purchasing again after this is the um, is the slurry tank as well as the, the milk tank and I may also purchase a bucket to lift the manure up into one of the trucks that we have our trailers that we have and um, do it that way for now I think we can go ahead and sell where is it that's only I thought yeah we could go ahead and sell this we could keep that which I don't know why we're keeping that. And then go here. Oh. Messing up here, buddy.
So I'm think. Oh, here we go. That's what I need. This is exactly what what I need. Um, let me go ahead and wait on purchasing that for now. But that's exactly what we need to grab more bills at once. <coughs> so let's go ahead, guys, and finish this one up. I'm gonna do a quick time lapse, and then see you guys soon. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tidy up the farm a bit because the bales are all over the place and it's not it does not look good <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, pick these bales up and I think from here I'm gonna run through the list of equipment I have see what is absolutely necessary from what's not necessary um, if there's stuff I can sell I'm gonna go ahead and sell them we need as much money as we can now to continue the operation of the farm because we're down we're now down to 89 as of um the last i checked there is no contracts that i would like to do as in, in um as it relates to harvesting so i'm not going to do any more of those contracts until something else comes available but we need some income we need some some additional income we need some money coming in so I may end up selling some equipment that we own. Um, it happens. I think what I ended up doing was purchasing more than I needed initially and ended up selling them back, which is where you take a loss when all I should have done essentially was, was lease them. Leasing them, you know, allows you to use what you need when you need it for a short period of time and not incurring that big cost of purchasing and i think that's what i'm going to look into doing more um as a way of saving some money because it it, it actually really costs a lot so there we go got that done um let's go ahead turn the tractor off um let's go in the menu save the game really quickly and check on the equipment that we have all right, so we do use both of these. We use that, use both of these based on the size of the contractor we have. We actually use this a lot for our own fields, not so much for anything else. Um, so that's something to look into. We do use this a lot. Um, we've used this a few times, not too many times. We use both of those. So I think what should have been done is that we should not purchase the plow. We should have, well, actually, no, because we use them on our fields. We use that, use that. All right, so basically everything I'm seeing here, we actually use quite a bit. Um, so there's really nothing to get rid of. Don't need to sell that. We have both of the grain silos here, water, tongue, bam, bam. bam. All right, so everything in here is what we actually need. Um... So, let me head back to the main farm really quickly. All right. In terms of the silos, we only have, we have 64,000 wheat in storage. Wheat's actually going for not too bad at the north cell point. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what we have in storage and transport that up to the north cell point. See if we can make... um. You know a little bit of income off of that one where is my trailer it's right there yeah so let me go ahead and get the um get the wheat out of here get this hooked up get the wheat out and um run it up to the north cell point see if we can collect 
you know, maybe a couple thousand off of that. I don't think it's going to be anything big. I don't think it's even going to make us over the um, the 100,000 mark, but that's fine. So let me go ahead and maneuver this truck around here. I think getting out of here might be a little bit harder than getting in here. Uh, nothing in there that, that, that there's... Okay, cool. Just making sure there was any nothing else in here. So let's fill that up with the wheat. I think 64, 63,000 will just about fill this truck because I think the capacity on the truck is 64. So let's see what it is. And then we'll just run it up to the north cell point. I'll keep you guys with me for the whole step. just about filled it so let's back out of here and head up <coughs> yeah so let's get out of here now get up to the um the north cell point because the north cell point is going for 776 which is not bad see now i'm contemplating if i'm gonna <laughs> take the streets or i'm gonna cut through some farms i may end up cutting through but that's fine whoops wrong side of the road i'm used to the, the used to jamaica which is on the oh yep yeah, let me get straight okay so basically we own the bga we have not done anything silage so far and i think that's where we're making a big mistake um I may end up looking into doing that. It is, it's something that makes some money. It makes good money, actually, if you do it the right way. Um, <clears throat> so that might be the next step as well. I wrote down some points that I want to do for this series. Um, as you guys already know, I already said that I want to do the dairy farm really big. So I'm going to expand as much as I can with the cows. And then in hopes to purchasing that huge field. Um, so that should help. Um, I think if we do the BGA, that will also help with some income. Because, like I said, BGA will produce some, uh, you know, not too bad money. Um, silage, whether it's from grass or from corn, makes pretty good money. So I think that's probably the best bet. Um, may end up doing a huge field of grass versus the small plot that we're doing currently. And I think that will actually assist us in getting better silage or more silage or more for the money, I should say. Whew, but that was close. I thought I was going to hit. But yeah, um, I think that's that's probably what we're going to do. Let's see how much money we make right now off this, um, the wheat. Shouldn't be too much. Um, shouldn't. I don't think it's going to take us over 100,000. This is just, you know, to get us to a certain point. Oh wow, I was wrong. It took us over a hundred thousand. Oh wow, okay. That was that was thirty three thousand. Hmm. So maybe what I really need to do is stock up on like maybe five hundred thousand liters of wheat and sell that just to see what happens. Um, because it's not too much of an expensive crop to do. So I think that might be in the future as well. So. Top three things. Working on the um, working on the dairy farm, um, which means that I will have to take contracts to let me cut cross here. Oh, drifting. Um, which means I'll have to take contracts to have enough money to do that to work towards that. <coughs> Maybe spend some money, investing some money into doing more silage stuff. That way we can expand and grow as well as maybe planting more wheat. Um, maybe see what we can do with that. Like I said, hit a, try to hit the goal of storing somewhere in the region of we have that's 500,000 and see, you know, make a few runs and see how much money we can make. That's a possibility as well. But, um, 
I think that's it for this episode, guys. Um, if you do like what's going on, please go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe and hit the bell if you want to keep up to date to what's going on. And leave a comment below. And again, thank you, guys. Thank you.